Audi Q2 1.4 Petrol 2016 Review The 1.4-liter petrol engine is a good choice for the Audi Q2, but it's pricey in S-line trim with added options. Verdict 3 Star The Audi Q2 is stylish, good to drive and reasonably efficient, and this 1.4-liter petrol is a decent choice, although it's not quite as economical as the diesel. In top-spec S-line trim, however, the already pricey Q2 starts to look very expensive indeed, especially as the kit list is lacking and the options will add up far too quickly. Our group test of the new Audi Q2 put the car a close second behind Mazda's excellent CX-3, although the 1.6-liter diesel model we put head-to-head -head with its rival still impressed on UK roads. Audi says the top-selling car will be the 1.4-liter TFC petrol, however, so is that the pick of the range. We tried the 1.4 TFC engine in the Q2 in range topping S-line trim with a 7-speed S-tronic dual-clutch gearbox and front-wheel drive. The 1.4-liter petrol comes with cylinder-on-demand tech, which cleverly shuts down two of the four cylinders when they're not needed, saving fuel. That's why the fuel economy figures of 52.3 mpg and 123 g slash km of CO2 look more like those of a diesel than a petrol. Luckily the petrol doesn't have the rattly, unpleasant drone of the diesel and, with 148 bhp to the 1.6 s114 bhp, it's much more powerful too. Sprinting from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.5 seconds, the 1.4 sounds sporty and revs nicely, but still has plenty of kick at low revs thanks to that 250 Nm of torque coming in at 1,500 rpm. The S-Tronic gearbox is excellent, shifting smoothly and quickly, with the manual mode using some small paddles on the back of the steering wheel. It's not as enjoyable to use as the manual box though, which has a smooth, light shift. The Q2 is good to drive as well, with that enjoyable powertrain working well with the car's tidy handling. The suspension is fairly stiff with the standard setup, and on the sport setup fitted to our S-Line car, a no-cost option, there was even less roll in corners, but, of course, the trade-off is a harsh ride. In the Q2 the standard suspension is a better fit, but whatever you go for this small Audi SUV isn't a particularly smooth cruiser. Plus, while the interior has a smart, simple design it's not up to PAR with the rest of the Audi range. With this model costing nearly £28,000 that's all the more disappointing. The upmarket Q3 seems like a more sensible buy than the Q2 at this money, as its interior is higher quality and there's loads more space inside. Families will be disappointed by the Q2's small boot and lack of interior storage spaces, although legroom in the back is pretty good. When it comes to space, the Q2 sits in an awkward middle ground between the more practical Q3 and the better value A3 sport back so it's the very definition of a niche market model. It's not aimed at customers of those cars, though, instead targeting a younger, more style-conscious buyer. Unfortunately, the Q2's closest competitor, the Mazda CX-3, is a much better buy when you're spending this sort of cash on a small SUV as it comes with loads more kit. Options like LED lights, adaptive cruise control, tinted windows, and even lumber support added a huge amount to the list price of our test car here, which is already expensive to start with. You can start to see where the Q2 begins to make sense when it comes to the looks, as it's a distinctive car and there are lots of customization options that should appeal to those trendy buyers Audi is targeting. You can also get the excellent virtual cockpit display system, 1,595 pounds, as an option, which will appeal to fans of the latest in-car tech. Key Specs Model, Audi Q2 1.4 TFC Cod S-Line Price 27,730 pounds. Engine, 1.4 liter 4 CYL petrol. Power slash torque, 148 bhp slash 250 nm. Transmission, 7 speed auto, front wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 8.5 seconds. Top speed, 131 miles per hour. 
Economy slash CO2, 52.3 MPG slash 123G slash KM. On sale, now.